One word to describe John would be entertaining. Energetic. Passionate. Determined. Direct. <laughs> ambitious. He's very ambitious. Iconic. Well, I mean, I'm biased, admittedly, but I think New York uh, is the greatest city in the world. It's where the U.S. Opens played. It's where I grew up. Um, and it would be incredible for the sport, I think, if some you know, professional players uh, came out of this area. My name is Stephanie Yakoff. I'm 17 years old, and I'm from Fort Lee, New Jersey. My name is Tristan Stratton, and I live in Forest Hills, New York. I'm 13 years old. I moved here in 2021. Just amazing environment, so many resources, and just overall, I love the people here. The sort of the idea of my academy here is to do something a little differently than most. Maybe you're living more of a normal life, even though you're living in New York City, which may seem a little crazy to some people. I mean, my results, my tennis, just everything overall increased. I'd also say mentally, emotionally, definitely a changed person and for the better. Be more like this, like this, instead of like that shot, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that's serious. I think that's a key thing though for you though, like to be able to feel good about that. Cause you got the two hand or everything else is solid, but then you kind of, sometimes that slice, I mean, once in a while that inside out angle yeah. or slice is fine, but you also want to keep like slice, it stays low, just straight. The biggest goal probably is to change as many kids' lives as possible. You'll give them the opportunity to play tennis, get into great college, you know, that they might not have gotten to otherwise, and use their tennis as a stepping stone into something else if they don't make it. Um, well, I started playing here in about a year ago. I've heard a lot of great things about it, and the first day I got here, I felt really welcome and it's just been a lot of great competition. Uh, hopefully they buy into my philosophy. You gotta go work hard, you gotta hopefully do well in school and so that you have a backup. These are the type of principles I grew up with, with my own parents and I think in some ways that takes pressure off kids. I've gained a lot of teamwork and the coaches have really helped me um, move my game to the next level. You sort of mix it up, so keep doing that, you know, and don't be afraid to come in even if you're not, you know. I did a lot of doubles and when I was younger, I couldn't cover the court like I was your size, and then I grew eventually. So you're gonna grow, and then you're gonna be better at net. Good stuff. I think can be overwhelming for a lot of kids, so you can simplify it and just say, listen, every time you go out in the court, try to do the best you can do. It's a long-term process to, to to learn the art of tennis. I mean, it's a very tough game to master. There's a lot of intricacies that uh, come along as you get better and better. So it's, it starts with doing things also on the court that you know aren't totally monotonous. You know, I mean, you're doing the same thing a lot, so you try to keep it on some level fun for kids. In, in certain ways, I met certain people that I think if it wasn't for running into these people along the way, this wouldn't have happened for me. So I'm hoping to sort of provide that for other kids, that they may have this opportunity they may ne never have gotten to be a, a tennis player, hopefully a college player, and ultimately a Grand Slam champion would be the amazing end result. Your game is our game. Your game is our game. Your game is our game. <laughs>